Okay, so here's the same boat, same angle. We're ready for our second coat. Is we're gonna go for canvassing next. Still need to put the spacers in, but that'll come in a bit here. Um, make sure to get plenty of adhesive on here. This is uh, this contact cement's what's making this thing waterproof. So um, you want enough that it fills up any of the gaps in the canvas, any of the gaps in the wood where they don't quite meet. Um, you want a good thick layer here. Um, and once again, this is a second coat. The first coat's to wet it, this coat's to actually build up a base to use. Um, I'm only using the end of the roller because I only need about an inch, which I, yes, I'm going way over. I know for all you people that can actually tell how big this is off of the video. Um, I'm going way over an inch, but you don't want dry spots either. You're only going to be sticking an inch to the edge. Maybe an inch and a half if you overlay it badly, poorly, but you don't want a dry spot. And like I said, the, the exterior latex paint we're going to be using on this will stick to this just fine and will make a permanent adhesion. So we have a little extra out of, the, out of the boundaries, not a problem at all. Um, I've seen mention of some people actually painting the entire boat with contact cement just as, and leaving it as the raw wood look, which as a, opposed to using a spar varnish or something like that. Um, contact cement's actually a good waterproof for, for boats in that it's, uh, Coats well is is short term waterproof, not long term. You can't leave it in the water uh, overnight and such. But um, but it's also flexible, which is with boats like this where they're constantly flexing is a real lifesaver. Um, I've got two coats now on the top side here. Uh, I did not put another coats on these because the, these come way later. Um, we have to wait until the outside is totally done. We'll have to repaint the we'll re, uh, contact cement the ends of the canvas where the other canvas will lay over it. So for right now, all we're going to do is just take this and flip it. Um, we take this one, pick it up, move this one to this side. So when we flip it, it'll be in the right location. Uh, this other piece, flip it, and we try and hang the contact cement off the edge since we're wet still. Um, it's not perfect, not a problem. It won't stick too bad to the cardboard, but you try for the, as good as you can. Okay, flip this one, same trick. Stick your finger in the contact cement if you can. That always helps. Um, yes, I have a horrible sense of humor. Um, anyway, so the same deal on this side. We take it and we coat the living daylights out of it a second time. And we may be able to see in this spot here there's a divot. I'm making sure I get that divot well filled with this so that there's a little extra filler there when this dries up against that canvas. Um, that was a compression mark from shipping of plywood, so sometimes you have to deal with that with the cheap stuff. Uh, you can when you're picking it out at Lowe's, Home Depot, Menards, whatever. Um, make sure that you check each piece and get the best looking ones possible. Um, most of the time, they don't care if you've cherry picked through for uh, good quality material. So um, I would take advantage of that and, and get the best stuff you can. Um, in this case, I just flat out missed that divot being in there. So 
That's my fault. Okay, this half's done. Go over to this half. See why the roller is so nice? You can really load up a large amount of material on the roller and get it on there quick. Now, speaking of timing, um, after we put this second coat on here, we have well, this is DAP weld wood that I'm using, the standard stuff, not the not the low loader or any of those. Um, on this, you've got about 15, 20 minutes till it's tack dry. Um, the way you tell if it's ready to be adhered is, it feels slightly tacky, but if you, if you drug a piece of paper over it, the paper wouldn't actually stick to it. Um, that's when it's appropriate to put this Use this stuff to adhere with. Um, one, you put it on the second coat like this. You've got approximately be a window between 20 minutes and about two hours. Sometimes it'll go longer. If you're doing this outside in the sun, your window of time is going to be between 10 minutes and 45 minutes, if if even that. There's the solvent flashes off really, really quick when it's warm. So, um, I'm doing this inside. It's a fairly warm day today, but um, no direct sun or anything. So, I've got between 20 minutes and two hours to get this together. So, 